Today, I'm joined with one of our amazing teachers here in the Harrisburg School District, Ms. Lisa Collins, who is the director of the Harrisburg School District Elementary Band Program. Hello, Ms. Collins. Hi there. Thank you so much for joining us well, thank today. Thank you for having me. It's been quite a year uh, teaching remotely online with our students. How has that been going for you with your music students? That's been challenging, but you know, you make it work. I still want to see my students and Zoom is a wonderful thing and they, they show up. If they want to have a lesson, they know where to find me. So let's talk a little bit more about the Harrisburg School District Elementary School Band Program. Tell us about it and how long has this program been going on? Well, the program has been restarted and it's been running for six years. And um, we've had probably the most amount of students prior to the pandemic. So we were running at maybe 250 kids. That's, just in fourth grade. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. Just in fourth grade, 250 yes. children yes. Uh, across the district yes. uh, learning how to play instruments and yes. learning about music theory and all the exciting things about music yes. and the arts. Yes. So, so tell us, what are some of the instruments that uh, your students are playing? My students can play the flute, the clarinet, the saxophone, the trumpet, the trombone, the euphonium. Uh, ukulele and next year I'm thinking about introducing keyboard as well. Fantastic. Um, they can also learn to play the violin, viola, cello and guitar with Miss Robbins. So let me ask you a question for our parents who are watching right now. Uh, what can we share with our moms and dads and grandparents and guardians because here's the thing you and I both know coming up are we, maybe there are children who have to pay for lessons this is absolutely free of charge for our students in the Harrisburg School District. Free of charge. They do not pay a rental fee for the instrument. They do not pay for lessons. They do not pay for supplies, reeds, strings, whatever. Everything is provided for them and lessons are provided for them. Usually a weekly lesson, sometimes more if the student is um, asking for it or mm -hmm. progressing at that pace. and. We do whatever we need to do to ensure that the student is prepared for middle school. Fantastic. So this program, the elementary school band program, is a feeder program that as the student matric matriculates to middle school, they continue in their music theory and learning to play their instrument and honing their skill. And then what happens when they get to Harrisburg High School? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mr. Troutman is all happy because he is receiving students who can read musical notation, mm -hmm. who know the proper way to hold their instruments and play it, and they know everything that they need to know, the basics on their instrument, and when they get to high school, they're ready to march and play. Did you say march? march. Did she say march as in the Harrisburg High School Cougar Marching Band? Yeah, That's right, cougars. yours truly. I was one of the, the Cougar marching bands. I played clarinet. Woo! Yes, I did. I was a high stepper. And so this program is very near and dear to my heart because not only does it um, highlight music, theory, and arts, and the instrumentation, but it also connects students with the aspect of education. So talk a little bit about that, about how the brain is wired and why music is a natural connector for those synapses in the brain. Oh, let me tell you, that was... That was part of my research for my graduate work. And um, music is the only thing that inspires and gets the entire brain working across both hemispheres. So when, when kids hear music, their entire brain is just like firing, like fireworks, just lighting up. And music is the only thing that helps people suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's. So it is a multi-generational tool to help people develop and, and help their brain remain healthy. Um, you know, the, the kids, not only do they have to learn how to read the notation, it also helps them with uh, linear progression in reading with language. It also helps them with math skills, with fractions. There you go. And timing. Algebra. Algebra. Those linear equations in algebra. Oh my goodness, it's like a natural brain connector. Absolutely. You know? 
We also talk geography. Really? Like when we talk about one of the songs that they're playing. Who wrote this song? Where did it come from? That might be a clue as to, well, how do you play an Irish jig? So we talk, oh, where is Ireland? Well, it's over there across the ocean. And we, we do all that sort of thing. And music just reaches everybody. Entire globe understands music. May not, may not be the words, but, you know, music is universal. Something about that universal language of music. And we are teaching that right here in the Harrisburg School District with Ms. Lisa Collins and our elementary school band program. Where can our parents and families get more information about this program? Can they email you? Can they call you? How do they sign their child up for this program for next school year? Well, uh, at the beginning of every school year, I do an Ms. Robbins and I do an assembly for the third and fourth grade students. And we demonstrate all the instruments that they are eligible to play. And then they take home an interest card. And they can um, take that home and the parents will look over the information. If they wish to make contact beforehand, they can email me at school at lcollins at hbgsd.us. And I would be more than happy to get back to you with any information. You know, oh, my child already has a guitar. Or, you know, we have a, a saxophone, but, you know, may not be in the best of shape. Well, you know, I do repairs as well. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was doing some repairs today on some bass clarinets. So, you know, if you have an instrument that's sitting at home or in the closet or under the bed, bring it in and I can take it up, take it in, look at it, make sure it's in good playing condition because if you don't have an instrument that is easy to play, mm -hmm. then the child probably will not stick with it. So we make a point of making sure the instrument is easy to play and works well. So you're like the instrument doctor. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you take those instruments, you check them out, you examine them, you give them some tender love and care, a little bit of TLC for the instruments, yes, and I then do. you get them ready for our kiddos to begin to, to have that instrument, to call their own, to practice, uh, to develop their skills, and who knows, we could be looking at a future Mozart. Right. That would be wonderful. Yeah. So as we wind down our interview here today, we are joined with Miss Lisa Collins. She is uh, the educator who oversees our elementary school band program. Uh, she's one of the leaders along with Miss uh, Robbins, Christine mm -hmm. Robbins, who uh, implements this program throughout our district for third and fourth graders. And it is such an innovative program to help your child connect uh, teaching and learning with music. There's something dynamic that happens in the brain uh, with music, and this is just an awesome opportunity for our kiddos.